What's going on guys? It's me Moop here. I just want to make this really quick video to show you a solution that I use pretty much every day so that I can talk on Discord and also get game audio from my PlayStation at the same time. So game audio goes to my headset and then I can talk in Discord. Now the reason why I do this is because I like to play uh, Call of Duty uh, competitively, and a lot of times people do eights, which is just a uh, competitive setup with random people just to practice. But I mean, you could use this solution for basically any application that you would want to talk on PC or not even talk. You can actually get like, um, you could say you want to play PlayStation, but get um, play music from your computer. And that way you can hear songs while you're playing your game. So anyways, the main reason why I did this is because I didn't want to spend the money on an Astro Mix Amp. I have my headset I use. I use HyperX Cloud 2s. Very great headset. But um, I didn't really want to spend the 100 or so dollars on an Astro Mix Amp. So anyways, I'll just show you real quick how I do that. And it works great. So first things first, um, what you need. Let me just grab it real quick. You do need an aux cord. 3.5 millimeter standard male to male end auxiliary cord. And I believe that's honestly it. That's really all you need. So what you're going to do is plug this port into your controller into your PlayStation controller, just like you would any normal headset. So, I'm just gonna put it in real quick. Now you see, just like that. And the other end, this is where it's important, will go into the back of your computer. And it's gonna go into the blue port. It's a blue jack, right next to where the pink and green jacks are. Green will be your audio for any headphones. Uh, uh, pink would be your microphone. And then blue, which a lot of people don't know, is called line-in. Line-in is used for musical devices, uh, any other input device that you would want to go to your computer that has to do with audio. So... Now that you have your PlayStation controller plugged in, let me just flip to my PlayStation input. So what you're going to do is hold down your PlayStation button and head to sound and devices. So you're going to want to go to output to headphones right here. Now normally I believe this will be defaulted to just chat audio but you're actually going to change it to all audio. This way you're getting, what you're doing is the PlayStation is sending audio to your controller and then normally what you would do is have a headset plugged in here and your PlayStation would send the audio to your controller and then the controller would send the audio to your headset. That's normally what most people will use this for. Now, when you plug it in this way, where you have an auxiliary cord going into the back of your computer, you're actually sending the audio from your controller into your computer. So, if I just show you real quick. If I go to... Playback Devices, you're going to right click the speaker and go to Playback Devices. You will have your speakers. Now, another important thing, you I don't know if this is true, but for me and just about everyone else, they have Realtek sound cards. Uh, Realtek is the sound card in your computer, and they usually, I'll show you in a sec, why this is important, but if you hit properties on the speaker and then go to levels, you will have all these sliders here. You'll have microphone, line in, center, subwoofer, rear, front, 
Now, what's important is you're gonna, this line in will be normally muted. It'll have this little mute icon. You're gonna unmute this and line in will be what controls your PlayStation audio. Because remember, we plugged in the, the auxiliary cable into the blue port, into your line in. So this will control your PlayStation audio. This will be your master volume. And then microphone is if you just want some headset feedback into your own headset. It's not actually the, the volume of your microphone. That will be in another tab where you go to recording. Now this is where you would control the levels of your microphone. I'm not going to really go into that. But so just like that, plug in the HyperXs into my computer. Um, sorry if you can't see that. But... Now when I go to Discord, you can see the microphone's working, and you can't hear it, but there is PlayStation audio going to my headset. So I'll be able to hear footsteps, especially when they're so important in a game like Call of Duty, but you'll hear footsteps, you'll hear directional audio, which is really important. It's not mono, it's stereo and surround, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's basically a solution if you don't want to spend the extra money on a mix amp to control multiple sources sources of audio. And um, it works for me. My brother does the same setup. Uh, I just wanted to show this video in case anyone else wanted to do this setup because I do know it is annoying to have to buy another piece of hardware, the mix amp, just so that you can talk on Discord but get game audio from your PlayStation. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Thanks a lot. Bye.